guys, Cards Across Texas here today, and we are shooting a video with my buddy's newly finished Scat Pack Challenger that he actually just had a whole new motor installed. It's a 448 stroker motor with a fully built transmission. Just a big old American V8, completely naturally aspirated, and boy does it sound mean. I mean we'll take a look around the car, maybe go for a ride or something, see how this car handles, and uh, hopefully you enjoy, guys. All right, so we have a GBE Hellcat short block here, bored out to a 448 cubic inch stroker motor. Now, guys, this thing sounds mean. Cammed, all sorts of good stuff, tons of uh, different modifications there. There's the list. It's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not gonna read out, but this car sounds mean. Makes around 660 crank horsepower. Um, around five, 570 to the wheel, you said? 570 to the wheel, 575 to the wheel. And it's also one of the cleanest looking Hellcats, or not Hellcats, wow, I can't talk today, scat packs that I've seen. But it's not all just looks, you got some go fast parts, but the stance on this car is insane paired with the Ferrata wheels. No expense to spare it here. Um, fully built transmission as well, eight speed auto. Um, who'd you say it was built by? Southern Hot Rod. Okay, cool, cool. Southern Hot Rod built eight-speed auto transmission. The Braum Racing seats. The whole nine yards in the interior. So is the car built to be like a eight eight mile car? You said or it's, quarter it's mile? A quarter, just mile yeah. quarter mile car? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. I can still daily it, but eh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so the original plan on this car was to have a motor built for boost, but after some hiccups and stuff like that with different shops and various shops, he had the motor sent off to get built, and he just said, screw it, I want all the bald eagles, and went with a 448 stroker motor, 7.3 liter V8. I thought the 7 liter in the Z06 was big, but whoo, this is a high displacement motor one of the highest you'll see nowadays that we don't have the big 572 big blocks anymore uh, but even has like a custom steering wheel emblem there savage scat you can go check them out on instagram 448 savage scat we're gonna hop in the uh 448 stroke or scat back here Let's go for a ride see what this is all about so we're in the uh 448 stroke or scat back here Oh, I feel that cam chop. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All I smell is the 85, but man, this car sounds mean. <laughs> Sheesh, that sounds so good. just sounds like nothing I've ever heard before. Really? <laughs> it sounds like totally different from like any other V8 that I've heard. Really? Yeah. Oh. Gotta be careful on those KW uh, coilovers there. Car looks good, but it's low. Definitely. I'm not sure if y'all can hear me, but <laughs> that is, this is nuts. 
When I tell you this car sounds insane, listen to this idle. That's 100% bald eagles right there. Smelling like freedom, sounding like freedom. We also got the OEM Hellcat hood here. This looks really good. If you got a challenger, this is the move right here. Not a fan of like the demon style hoods. I like the Hellcat hood a lot better. Some subtle, more subtle vents on it. Not the big gaping hole like the demon one. Uh, very good looking. Uh, and then he has the, is it a Z01 add-ons wicker bill? No, it's a uh, family customs. Family customs wicker bill. This also looks good with the rivets. It's a cool little touch there. And it all gets tied together on that KW coilovers. Give it that mean stance in the Ferrata wheels. So a long time ago, OG OGs, like 400 sub OGs, might remember a Cars and Coffee video where this car did a little burnout. <laughs> that's been a, a minute. That's when Memorial City Cars and Coffee still exited through the back way. Alrighty guys, hopefully you enjoyed that little overview of the Savage Scat, the 448 Stroker Challenger Scat Pack. That car is insane. I kind of want to start doing some like overviews on some crazier builds, not like your reviews on like a like just normal stock basic car, something like this where it's like something nuts that you don't really see too much. I want to show more what you can do to a car rather than what a car can do, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about the car down below. Would you do that to a Challenger Scat Pack? I personally would. That's sick. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys.